Hmm. If you look at that cover art, you can still see the Good Music logo on there. And this song ends with the sound of an alarm clock, which leads me to believe that maybe this was just a concept track or Sci High was spitting some fantasy type of shit. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And this is my review for the new Sci High track that just got everybody bubbling on Twitter today called Elephant in the Room. This is a track where he goes hard at Kanye West, and really, I don't even blame Psy High, because he's kind of been on the bench for years. He's put out a lot of quality mixtapes, including the Royal Flush series and the Black History Project series, and he's also helped Kanye along with some of his shit. I mean, just look at the Yeezus credits, and you'll see his name on damn near every song. And in spite of all that, Psy High has gotten pretty much zero shine. And if you ask me, I think he's a good rapper. I mean, he definitely comes through with some corny lines. I know that's one of the things that a lot of people bring up, and I can't even deny that. But overall, I think he's made a lot of quality music over the years, and he deserves a little bit more shine. But since he didn't get it, I guess he's trying to get it for himself by calling out some names. This track starts with a rabid fan calling Psy High out for not getting an album out over all these years, and then Psy High immediately goes at Kanye. He asked Mr. West if he knows what it's like to be signed to his label, and he also asked him why he wasn't featured on that Complex magazine cover that had all the good music artists on it. Which is a pretty fair gripe if you ask me, because Psy High has been riding with good music for years now. Psy High then tells Kanye that while he's driving around in his Lambo on Sunset, Psy High is riding around with a gun that sounds like a little boy playing with a drum set. Now on the second verse, Psy High runs up in Def Jam's office, demanding a new deal while letting some shots off. And he also takes a shot at Pusha T when he says that his music is crap. And I thought that kind of came out of the blue, because as far as I know, they haven't really had any problems with each other. But clearly Psy High is just on some angry shit on this song, because he even gets at Tiana Taylor too, when he says that her ass is fat, but she won't even let anybody in the clique hit that ass. The second verse ends with Psy High putting Kanye West in his trunk and driving off. So to me, the whole second verse was on some of that Slim Shady shit. Just some over-the-top, violent storytelling with some sound effects thrown in there. And really, I wasn't expecting a track like this from Psy High at all. But like I said, I don't blame him. And I have this one at a 3.5 out of 5 because he definitely got his point across. But it's not an overly incredible song, really. He did get people to pay attention, and this shit is trending on Twitter and having everybody wondering about it, though. So it was a good move as far as promotion goes, and I can't hate on him for that. Is Kanye going to respond? Is Pusha T going to respond? Is anybody on Good Music going to respond? I guess we'll just have to tune in and see where this goes. But that's just what I thought about this track. Check it out for yourself, and let me know what you think about it. And I also want to know what you guys think of Psy High the Prince in general, because I know some people out there think he's trash. And I completely disagree with that, because Black History Project could have been an album, and as a mixtape, it was better than a lot of albums last year. And as usual, do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel, because once I hit 7,500, I'll do another FAQ. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.